What's up, Internet World? Zachimus Prime, aka Zachimus Prime, here with another Transformers third party review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Transform and Rollout Agent Meister. I think he used to go by a different name when, woo, when he was still under production, but Agent Meister is what's on the box. Several people were criticizing me about the fact that I was saying that the uh, <clears throat> X-Trans bots Cyclonus was KFC, to which I responded, it's the same company. So it doesn't really matter which one you call it. They were like, well, read what's on the box. I didn't have the box. I've got the box for this one. It's some um, over there somewhere. <clears throat> but anyhow, here he is. He's... um. Yeah, he's their version of jazz. Um, he's uh, he's not a terrible figure. He's not a bad figure, not without his flaws. Um, but he's not he's not real bad. I don't know. I mean, I still I still feel that Make Toys is probably a better a better option. Um, I don't know that I can say that he's necessarily better than uh, Generation Toy they're offering because I haven't actually messed with that before but um I don't know this guy's this guy's this guy's all right so one of the things about him first of all let's get into his accessories he comes with his gun here his gun is, is kind of interesting it's got this peg here right and uh, this is not in the instructions and I haven't found the spot but it's got a peg and it folds right here which leads me to believe that there's a way to fold this up and stick this in the vehicle mode somehow, and I just I have never found that ability. So maybe it's there, and maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I haven't really played with it a whole lot, I admit. I've had a lot of other things to play with um, lately than this guy. So I don't know. I really haven't played with this guy a whole huge lot. Um, he is kind of gappy in places, namely his shoulders here. Um, and there's a reason for that. He actually, um, this is, this is his like cartoon mode here where he's, you know, where everything's all put away. He's got a toy mode that simulates the look of the, the G1 toy where it's got the wheels over the shoulders and the door wings. And I'll show you that in just a little bit, but... So this is accessory number one. He also comes with a pair of these little sound cone things. Um, the chrome on these is not that great. <clears throat> of course, these are molded in black plastic and then they're chromed and then there's an enamel put over that. And um, the blue, especially on this one right here, there's you can see there's blue coming off of that edge of that cone there, and there's a big old spot of it right here. And I literally just pulled these out of the box, just like immediately before filming this, because, you know, I was like, eh, I know what they do. I don't need to pull them out. So you can take these. There's some screw holes in the back of his arms. You can plug them in to those screw holes it is kind of a tight fit i'm thinking that these are probably primarily tolerant for their pre chrome and protective varnish so you can stick those over his shoulders like that you can flip out his side skirts and he's got like this like whole like sound sonic attack mode or something Yeah. And then his other accessory is this uh, grappling hook. Look at this little plastic hook thing with a little cord connecting it to this little wheel thing. And this is pretty easy to attach. You just take his arm here, open up the flap to put it away. 
Which, by the way, why is that molded in black plastic? Like, they could have molded it in white plastic, and then it would match the rest of his arm. But no, they molded it in black plastic. There's just things like that that I just don't get. Stuff like that is preventing me from saying that this is a great figure. That just snaps on fairly securely. It goes out. It goes in. He can grapple onto things and even, like, hang from them if you want to. Or whatnot. Oh, shoot. Well, that's no good at all. I just, um, yanked this off and, uh, accidentally pulled this sucker out. That is absolutely, on a scale of 1 to 10, that is zero good. Huh. I'll have to get that fixed before I return it. Maybe you uh, uh, shouldn't be hanging him off of it. I don't know. Yeah. Sound cones. Alrighty. While we're here, let's discuss his um his toy mode here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna unpeg these. When you peg these in, the instructions say that th there's these little tabs on this black piece here. The instructions say to plug in the back one first and then kind of weasel the fr front one in. I say abs absolutely otherwise that you put in the front one first and then wiggle in the back one. I think that is much easier to do. And when you pull them out, you should probably pull them out by the back tab and then by the front tab. And we'll take this and undisconnect this. And before we actually, yeah, we'll just pull these out. These are on little, uh, so it's not on a hole, it's in a slot. You want to pull this all the way out. It'll allow you to angle that upwards. Disconnect this if it hasn't disconnected itself already. Pull these tires out. These tires are going to be also on these sliders here. So you want to make sure that these get slid out all the way and that will click into place solidly <clears throat> like that. And then getting these reattached is a bit finicky. So you'll also notice that these tires are on sliders. You want to slide them all the way down to the back and then in this Hopefully you can see that there's this little clip here. You're going to take this, you're going to clip it into that little pin, like so. And there's a bit more to it than that, but the, the first step is to clip it into that pin. There's enough jointage in this area, and this little linkage here, that you don't need to worry about much of that beyond there for now. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to just kind of arrange because there's this peg in the back which you really can't see because it's all black on black with the black in the back, black background. But you just kind of want to arrange them so it seems to be a somewhat comfortable looking pose. And then take this and plug this back into where it was here. And there he is in his toy mode with the, the wheels and the wings. And yeah, I think it's cool that they included both modes. 
Though I think all things being equal, I kind of wish that they'd committed to one or the other because they probably could have made the robot mode look better if they had not accommodated for both. Because of course, anytime you accommodate something, you're 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 you have to reduce something else, you know. So all right, so let's get this guy pulled back apart. We're gonna ink on those. We're gonna pull this up. There's a little. This little fits in this tab. By the way, look at that. This is how it came out of the box. Just this like... It's like somebody hacked on that with a knife accidentally. In fact, I would basically promise you that's exactly what happened. I'm going to take his head and we're going to fold it back, back back so it tucks into this little gap in here we're going to take his hands open up these panels here fold his hands away why why is that panel black it just bothers me it's such an easy thing such a simple fix there's i mean as you can see all the stuff that's painted gray here which by the way this paint is atrocious look at this this is just from, there's this screw right here. This screw is just rubbing up against that when you transform it. It's even a little bit on the side too. And there's, um, there's really nothing to be done about that. I mean, and see here it is. You can see this paint chipping off of, this is on a black plastic here. I don't know. The plastic also feels kind of iffy. I guess, I mean, it's really hard to like gauge gradients of plastic by how they feel. It just, it just doesn't, I don't know if it's in the, the gradient of plastic, as I said, or if it's in something about the construction or fabrication of it, but it just, it just doesn't feel like really solid, you know? So we're going to take these, kind of click them into here. Ta-da! These um, wheels I mentioned were on sliders. We're going to slide them back in somehow. Maybe I should have done those first because they're going to be frustrating. This one, you can actually kind of pull it up like this and then push on it with your finger from the outside. This one, there's like a piece of flash or something. Maybe some deformation of the plastic. Actually, yeah. Now it is looking like some sort of a deformation in the plastic. Which that's just what what's been one of the, the plastic feels soft. You know, it doesn't feel like a real legitimate robust plastic, you know? It just, eh, it just feels just, eh, you know, eh. Alrighty, so the wheels are in place, the arms are in place, the head is in place. We're going to take these, put them back into position here. The windows are on sliders. They'll need to be slid about somewhat. and pull this back down like that. Give me some wiggle room in here because this tab needs to come out. This has got these little tabs on the side of it here. And then there's notches in this. And so it doesn't just come down and clip in. You have to like start it at the front and like feed it in. And it is more than a little bit frustrating. Like so. Alrighty. You know, if his gun was going to go anywhere, I would wager on it like 
forming this U shape here and going in here somewhere. But there are no tabs, there's no slots for it to slot into. I don't know, it's a mystery. I, th I don't get it. It's like they've it's like they've worked this functionality into it and just been like, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Or like, yeah, we were gonna do that, but then we forgot. We changed our minds. We just, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know. All right. So there he is, half car, half man. So on his legs, you're gonna take, and we're gonna pull on this panel right here. Pull that away from his kneecap. It folds up on both sides. We're also gonna to need to pull up his shin. And then this guy here, his, ta his leg pegs in, in in like two or three different places. You're gonna to wanna to unpeg that and get this prepared to be moved about. It's not going to easily move about because everything is in the wrong place. Like the motion of this, uh, the motion, the placement of all this is, is just kind of finicky, you know? Like this toy is just kind of a prima donna. It's got to have things done its way and no other way or else, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know. It's just kind of weird. All right. So you want to kind of bring this up and then there's a tab on the other side of this window here. That tab is going to fit into a slot on this section here. But it's not going to fit in that slot super well until like everything, everything, everything is put together. And it's going to fight you as you try to put everything together. Because you'll see that there's this little white tab here that needs to go underneath the part. All right, now that that's lined up, maybe this will fit in better. Yes, yes, yes. Now there's a tab here that needs to go over that. Uh, scrape that past there. A lot of clearance issues in this part here. Like stuff just wanting to fight itself. You know, wanting to get past this piece and get onto this piece and go over on this piece and, you know, and it doesn't... It's not a real fun transformation. It gets the job done. It's just not really enjoyable. It's a bit like working at Walmart. Like Walmart will give you a paycheck. It just sucks getting there. All right, that's one. Now to number two. panel. Yank on this whole assembly down here. All right, that's clear. Nope, it's not clear. Okay, that's clear. Nope, it's not clear. There we go. It clicked past itself. Now quick. <laughs> Put this tab in before it changes its mind. There we go. Phew. Alrighty. Yank this out past that. Ta-da! Ta-da! Fold this in. Double joint this knee down in there. Now we got to take these and we got to peg them together. 
and there are a lot of tabs like this makes a really solid connection and then these dovetail together here and then you have to make sure that the doors are in just the right spot because they've got these tabs that go in there I pushed on the window too much so I have to undo that the window back in its correct position. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Put this window back in its correct position. There we go. Try this again. All right, I think I got it. Push on the roof to get these tabs to go in and just kind of There we go. <sighs> All right. There he is. He's a Porsche. It's interesting. You'll notice that they uh, that they uh, are not keen on using the Autobot symbol because that's copyrighted, but they are okay with using Porsche, you know, and there's even a little Porsche logo right there. And, um, you know, I'm sure that's somebody's logo, and I know that's somebody's logo. I know that's somebody's logo. Like, they are simply okay with using, like, everybody's logo, except for Hasbro's. Hmm. Hmm. And there he is. He's a Porsche. Um, there he is from the underside. You can see pretty much everything. Actually, you know what? There are a couple tabs. I don't know. There's a couple tabs I noticed. But they're at angles in this way. If I was to put them in that way, it would either go in like that or like that. They seem smaller than these tabs here. Little slots in there. I don't know. I don't know where this gun goes. Maybe this is... No, because that would hang way too low. I don't know. I don't know. It's not in the instructions. I checked and then I double checked. So nobody get on my case about that. But there he is in his car mode. Um... He looks good. He looks uh, his car mode actually looks a lot better than his robot mode. His robot mode does not look bad. It's just a bit of a frustrating transformation. It's a bit of a finicky thing. Plastic feels a bit cheap. Um, paint job I think is terrible. Um, the black panels on the forearms I don't understand even a little bit why it's like that. But um, I mean, like the paint is expertly applied. Like it's a really good paint job. It's just bad paint. Good paint job, bad paint. I don't know. Um, I still recommend the Make Toys over this. Um, but if this is what catches your fancy, or if this is what's most available, or if this is what's the right price, whatnot, like this is your guy right here. But um, other than this, I recommend going for Make Toys. Um, I think Make Toys comes standard with the Raper level set. Or Toy Hacks, what do they call it now? Or it might not. It might be a separate thing. There's a panel that didn't want to want to go in properly. Yeah, whatever. All right. That's it for me. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, anything you do helps me out, actually. Um, I'm, t I'm to understand even that hitting the thumbs down button helps out because, you know, any reaction is better than no reaction. But don't give me thumbs down. Give me the thumbs up. I like thumbs up. 
And uh, you guys are all fantastic. You're all wonderful. And I will talk to you later. Actually, it's Christmas right now. So Merry Christmas. I'm going to upload this today. And you're awesome. See ya. Bye.